Hey, I'm Chit Fehadungs and this is Anamorphic Chop Shop. This is the second video based on the Rectilux. This time I'll be showing you the assembly process for the Koa Bell and Howl. I'll be following instructions exactly as described in the owner's manual. You can download it to check the instructions for all the lenses at my blog. Some are simpler, some have more steps than the Koa BNH I'm showing here. According to the manual, the Koa is the widest scope available. Cool! First step. Uh, I'll remove the clamps. This is my production ready core. So, clamps off. Goodbye. Uh, set the core to infinity and remove uh, these three tiny screws here. One, two, and three. Then turn the stop ring anti clockwise to remove it. Store it safely along with the screws. Okay, second step, attach the Rectilux front coupling ring with the wrench slots, these two little cuts here, facing the rear, to where the Koa's stop ring used to be. The manual warns me to wear a glove, since fresh machine threads can be sharp, but my hands are already pretty rough. Besides, if there's a blood splatter in this video, I'll get tons of views as idiot cuts his hands and bleed over expensive optics. Be careful not to cross the threads. The tightness of this ring will affect the torque you'll need to focus the rectilux. Adjust it as you want. I'll go for a very smooth operation and stop as soon as it offers some resistance. So here we are. In order to have the best performance inside the rectilux, I have to remove the distance scale on the koa. The manual tells me to remove these screws here and here, also saying that this doesn't affect the lens working mechanism. It also hints me to copy the focus scale onto a piece of vinyl tape and permanent marker, where the Koa name is. I'm cheap, as you should know by now, and have neither vinyl tape nor permanent markers. I'll use regular tape and a ballpoint pen. Don't judge me. Completing these steps will get you a Rectilux ready Koa, or same Koa. Hell yeah! Now, on the Rectilux itself, check if the front optics are properly secured. If not, uh, Fix it using a lens wrench, but do not over tighten it. Here. Uh, then fill one, only one of these. This will leave you with two empty holes around the ring. That's just how it's meant to be. One thing you might notice is the Rectilux doesn't have focus marks. John proposed a clampable ring onto it if enough people are interested. I surely am. Now for this, uh, I'll be using a 1.5 hex key. Here's a small screw. Now, mount the focus card. I'll be using a 2.5 hex key this time. It's pretty easy to figure out the correct M3 screws. Just put them in here. There are some matching holes inside, so just follow them. Don't go over the inner surface here. See there? Don't go over it. Just insert them enough to hold the focus card in place. There's still some action to go down here. The next step is to finally insert the core inside. I find it easier just to insert this without the focus uh, guard attached. So. The outside 75mm threads will match the inner thread behind the front optics and that will fit perfectly. Careful again not to cross the threads. It takes about 10 full turns before the coupling rings are fully threaded. So that's working just fine. If it becomes stiff before that, you probably cross threads. Remove and restart. Never force it. This is the hardest step in the whole process. I have to fit this ring around the core while matching the holes for the screws around the focus guard. Trust me, it can take about the same time it took me so far just to get this little part working. That was fun. Now the screws are holding the core in place, preventing it from rotating inside the Rectilux and messing your alignment. Finally, slap in the Recti grip and use just one of the small M3 screws to secure it in place. You'll be tempted to use two. Do not. It makes the grip weaker since it can rotate along the common axis shared by the both screws. Uh, be careful and always triple check if the grip is firm enough. The screw is tiny and it can fool you sometimes. And that's it! Now you just attach this to your taking lens, align it by loosening the screw in the rectigrip, 
tighten it back up and then go out to shoot, focusing on the rectal legs. Have fun! Subscribe for more anamorphic content and check my blog for the full anamorphic on a budget guide. I'm out.